Hello students and welcome to our accelerated stalls video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. The objective of accelerated stalls is to understand that stalls can occur above the airplane's published 1G stall speed when the plane is subjected to increased Gs or increased forces of gravity and how to recover from this type of stall. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all of the additional details we just mentioned and to study this lesson's full length presentation, podcasts, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and a whole bunch more, look up the Accelerated Stalls lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. First, we are going to begin our flight in the practice area at a sufficient cruising altitude to set up, execute, and recover from the stall safely. So we're gonna begin at approximately 3,000 feet AGL. Next, we'll perform our clearing turns to look outside for traffic in the area and we will ensure that our airspeed is below our maneuvering speed VA prior to beginning the maneuver and that it will stay below that speed throughout. Now, in order to invoke the accelerated stall, we will establish a coordinated 45 degree bank to the left or to the right and begin increasing our angle of attack on the airplane. In today's example, we're gonna go ahead and bank to the left. Essentially, we're just gonna start a steep turn to the left and increase our angle of attack until we get our first indication of a stall. However, to assist with the onset of this stall, we are actually going to slow our airplane to 80 knots first while maintaining altitude prior to establishing our bank angle. If we go into the maneuver at, you know, 110 or whatever knots and then we start our bank at that high speed, it's just going to take so long for the stall to onset and to occur. So what we like to do is just straighten level flight, bring that power back, slow down. We're gonna slow, in this example today, we're gonna slow down to 80 knots while maintaining altitude, and then we'll put that bank in. That way, we're not in this steep uh, turn to the left for like a full minute or two before we even get to the stall. Okay, it'll just be a few seconds, and then the stall will occur. So that's why we're slowing down first. In this accelerated state, the airplane will stall and give off stall indications at higher air speeds than normal. But we're still gonna recover at the first indication of the stall by reducing our angle of attack, rolling the wings of the airplane back to level, and increasing our power as necessary, most likely power back to full to recover. We'll then recover the airplane to cruise flight and to a cruise configuration at the altitude specified by either our instructor or examiner. So we're gonna show you the rest in the airplane. Let's get out there and do an accelerated stall. All right, welcome out to our airplane students. We're gonna go ahead and do an accelerated stall for you. Before we do that, let's go ahead and do our clearing turns and kind of talk about how we've got the aircraft set up for us. So we're gonna hop in the cockpit real quick and let's just do 180 degree clearing turn to the left. So we'll go around to 090. As we're doing this clearing turn, I'm actually even gonna start slowing the airplane now so it doesn't take us quite as long to slow once the uh, clearing turn is done. Okay, so you can see that we've established ourselves at 3000 feet AGL for this maneuver. And we're starting to slow down. We are outside our airplane here. And we're looking for traffic in the area, making sure that we won't get anybody's way. Nobody else is going to get in our way either. Looking pretty good. Slow it down nice and easy. Sweet. So we talked about it in the uh, pre-brief video. I'm going to kick off the autopilot. Uh, looks like we're still slow to 80, but we're gonna, we'll kick off the autopilot here in just a sec. We'll start that 45 degree bank to the left. And then we're just gonna be trimming back, holding back on the yoke to hold altitude. You'll notice that our stall indications are gonna come at a higher airspeed than normal because we are subjected to higher 
than one g-force increased g-forces right that's what accelerated stall means accelerated g-forces at which point the first indication of a stall we're going to reduce our angle of attack roll our wings level give it full power and recover to an altitude that uh, is specified by either our instructor or examiner so i think that's enough talking let's go ahead and kick off our autopilot i'm going to retrim the airplane here we're almost at that 80 knots maybe i'll bring back just a little bit more power and just trim into hold altitude right here we'll start our nice smooth bank to the left got one hand on the power I've got one hand on my yoke and I'm just kind of holding back to hold our altitude here you can see our airspeed is declining waiting for our first stall indication sims got a lot more performance than the actual airplane there it is nose over roll our wings level adding that power in recovering from the stall and let's go ahead and just climb back up now that our airspeed is completely fine we'll climb back up to our 3,000 feet where we can go ahead lower the nose bring our power back right here okay so you guys saw that that stall occurred at a higher airspeed than normal the stall indication started coming on like 10 knots or maybe even more than it does at a 1G. Also, the simulator, or the airplanes in the simulator do have higher performance capabilities than the airplanes in real life. So we were in that left bank for a little bit. Typically, if you slow your aircraft down to like 80, if you're in a Cessna 172, you won't be in that left steep turn for quite as long as we were before the stall does occur. But once it did, just reduce our angle attack, roll our wings level, increase our power back to full, start a climb out, and return to cruise at whatever altitude uh, specified. So, pretty simple. That's it for this maneuver video, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we'll go ahead and see you on the next one coming up soon.